You can park a call when you need to transfer a call, but you don't have a specific person to transfer the call to. Uh, when a call is parked, any colleague can pick it up. So some common uses for the call park feature would be the caller needs help from a specific department that doesn't have a call queue set up. Uh, maybe a receptionist parks a call that's intended for someone on a factory floor who doesn't have a permanent workstation. Uh, maybe you answer a call on your mobile app and that mobile phone is dying. Uh, you can then park the call and pick it up from your computer desktop. So to start with call parking, you first have to park the call. So we're going to go to our more drop down menu and we're going to choose the park call option. You're going to see call is automatically placed on hold. And in a second, we are given a retrieval code. Now this retrieval code can then be shared via a Teams chat uh, into a Teams workspace. If your organization has an announcement system, you can provide that retrieval code over the loudspeaker. If you have parked a call, this ongoing section becomes available in your calls application view so you can see any of the parked calls that you have. To pick up a parked call, you're going to go to that calls application view and you're going to use the parked calls button. From here, you're going to enter that code that you received for the parked call and you're going to use the pick up button to continue that call. As you can see, when a parked call is picked up, a brand new timer will begin. If nobody answers that parked call or picks it up within a five minute time span, it will automatically come back to you because you are the one that parked that call.